We start with a Supreme Court decision impacting thousands of young people across the country and right here in Iowa. The court ruling against President Trump's decision to end DACA, the Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals program. This means over half a million active recipients, known as DREAMers, will be allowed to stay in the country and work legally for now. now there is a lot of national support behind DACA. According to the last ABC News Washington Post survey on the subject a few years ago, 86% of Americans support it, while 11% oppose it. And Iowa is home to almost 2,500 of those DREAMers. Local 5's Matthew Judy spoke to some of them and has more on today's ruling. Thursday, a major Supreme Court decision. I found out that the Supreme Court uh, stood on the right side of history. The highest court in the land blocking the Trump administration's 2017 effort to end DACA, a program that offers protection for undocumented immigrants. Almost 2,500 DACA recipients live here in Iowa. I live and breathe the undocumented life every single day and it changed a little since 2017 with Trump ending the, the DACA program. Chief Justice John Roberts authored the majority 5-4 ruling saying the president has the right to end the program, but the administration did not do it in the right way or considered the impact on recipients. Meanwhile, with the decision that leaves room for change down the road, DACA recipients in Iowa remain cautious. I feel like it could still get taken away. Uh, I mean, it's not like a definite, it stays like forever. President Trump on Twitter today saying he will start the process all over again as he looks for a legal solution. In a dissenting opinion, Justice Clarence Thomas called the decision an effort to avoid a politically controversial but legally correct decision. Back here in Iowa, Reyes called Thursday a win for all Americans. This is for you, this is for me, this is for all Iowans, for all Americans. Those checks and balances that are set up in our government are, are coming into play and are holding our current president and any future president accountable for their actions. Now, Reyes also said that she's looking forward to what she calls making more progress here locally. One of the things she's going to be focusing on, more protection for DACA recipients, undocumented family members.